It's happening. Welcome back to this Fireside episode of The Everyman Guys, our first Fireside episode. Yes, How are we all doing? We're doing... I'm, I'm doing well. I got in... So I've been getting in ice baths for all of January. Yeah. I finally got in and put my arms in two. <laughs> so it was not just like my... like. From here down, all so the way down. So pretty much the entire time your dad was holding it every other time. <laughs> well, like, I'd like <laughs> go so like this. I'd like have my arms out the side, but I finally went all yeah, the way down. Yeah, I was like one of those Dude. wooden stocks. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <it's, laughs> and I just <laughs> dropped this lower body in. Uh, Thought I was gonna die, legit. but I didn't. It was it was nice. That's I good. feel very zen and calm right now. That's good. Because I feel like it like reset my day. Yeah, I'm feel like I'm furiously rocking in this chair. Tim, <laughs> <laughs> um, how was your day? Anyway, <laughs> uh, I received my day was a messages. really bad Jim day. Jim had today. a really, really, really bad day. It was a rough day. But you know what? You still got um, it done. You still did your marathon training. I did. I did my marathon training, and that felt good. Um, it was a good end to a bad day. Yep. Uh, it was like, you know that movie, um, or I think it was a children's book, and that was made a movie. It was like Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, Very Bad Day. Uh-huh. That was pretty much my day. Just with yeah. work things. And snow... Just so we're all clear. Uh, dude, snow's the worst. Eliminate it from okay. the universe. Okay. Eliminate it I, always. Listen, that's fine. Unless it's but, in a playful scenario. Listen, that's fine. But today was like the epitome of what I think people that are like not huge fans of snow want to happen. A ton of snow, and then it's just, it's just gone yeah. for like from from eternity. You know what you have better than that? It's just not snow. When it doesn't <laughs> snow at I, I, all. I honestly, like, I don't understand how it snowed. It was like 50 degrees it was yesterday. 50 and yesterday. And even when it stopped yeah. snowing Cold-ish. today, it was warm. I know. So where did the snow come from? I know. It was like, hey, I'm just going to ruin Jim's day real fast. <laughs> and then it will be it's probably yeah, not what just, it like, not just did. snow. It was, it yeah. was oh, like it a was yeah. vicious. A blizzard for like four hours. You know what was nice though? Like, when I wiped off my car, it all just came off together. It was all clumped <laughs> together. So it was like, it was like, hey, I'm just going to... Gonna be over here. <laughs> no, it was it was fine day. though. I, I I don't mind the snow. The only time it bothers me, the only time it bothers me is when I think our producer just quit. <laughs> <laughs> no, he had to go get his book. He told me. <laughs> Listen, the only time uh, I mind when it snows is when I'm at work already, and yeah. then I have to drive home. And honestly, just the driving in the snow isn't even the problem. It's just the traffic that. Builds up because yeah. of the like snow. on the way to work today, people were just like like we pull people up to this forget street. How to live? When there's it's like nice. six <laughs> cars spinning wheels. Yeah, and there's another one whose back is going just like this. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, pretty sure. F- but like the people that are doing it are like they're on the middle of the hill. Like just let yourself roll and then mm. get some seat. No, like let's just go gas the whole way. Yep. Like, that's one yeah, thing. That's like, another part of Jim's bad days. He got stuck in <laughs> snow <laughs> in a forklift. <laughs> Should I tell you my day? Oh my day? gosh, really? Should I tell you my yeah. day? Right, I mean, I'll you tell can't you get my stuck day. in snow in a forklift so, and not tell no, us. I got to work a little later than I wanted to because of said snow. And so I get in and people are coming to pick some stuff up. So I need to take it out to them in, in a forklift. And it's snowing and icy and gross. So they come at like eight. So I go out with a pallet of things and re- immediately realize... I'm getting stuck. <laughs> so I'm going. <laughs> and you know when you're trying to do something and you're clearly trying to do it, but someone comes out and says, just, you know, it's like a dad. It's like, out hey, do it this way. And you're like, like yeah. I could do it that way. Thank, thank you Thanks. so much. Thank, thank, you, thank you, so you for much. telling me. Thank you for telling me. But I have been trying. I've been trying to do it that way. Yeah, and right. it's just not working. Right. Because yeah. like, so, why wouldn't you do it the way right. that, like, so would, like yeah. what ended up happening is the one pallet I had, they had to back up into the pallet. Because I'm stuck. So then it took the weight off so I could barely, like, you know, and people are shoveling out around me. So I finally get in to said back into my shop to get the second pallet. Right. Well, instead of going back out again, they pull their van into the shop. Said shop. Said shop. Gotcha. But it's at a really hard-to-get angle. <laughs> <laughs> so I spend 20 minutes trying to get and manu- and again, 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 maybe try that. I did. I did. Oh, uh, you have to be doing. I did. I did. And thank then it's you. It's like, you know how, like, if I were to watch for you, 
Mm-hmm. And it's not like whatever. I'm not trying to call it, but it's like if I, I were to watch you back up a trailer into a campsite, right? Right. If you've hit the tree and I say you hit a tree, that's not helpful. Like that's I, not helpful. Like I know. Yeah. Tell me before <laughs> I hit the tree, right. and that'll be better. And that was not what happened. So I hit the van <laughs> side of the door, and it was like, didn't what break. time was this? This was eight. So I was like already... halfway through my coffee at that right. point. Yeah, I didn't even start mine. I had yeah. a banana and coffee this morning. I was like, ooh, nope. Don't get to enjoy that. That's that's like the beginning of the morning. Yeah. Dude, and then, listen, I've heard this story. And he's not I, even close to halfway. <laughs> no. He's and not then even halfway. I get told there's a delivery coming. Make sure you shovel outside before that delivery comes so that you don't get stuck again. So these deliveries that come are usually between like 10 to 12, but sometimes they'll just come earlier. So I like went when out, it snows really hard. Right. So I go out at 840 and start shoveling. I'm out there for about 10 minutes because it's the it's all gr- gravel, so it's all like hard to shovel, right, without getting stuck, and you're like trying to get ice. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, oh, right? We all know exactly. Exactly. And it's a blizzard. It's a blizzard. It's well, a, it's, it's, it's cold and snowy. It's coldy. Uh, it's coldy. It's wet. <laughs> I'm wet. I'm upset <laughs> because of this happening. And the other person comes out who's like, my boss comes out and says, hey, why are you shoveling right now? They're not going to be here for a while. And I said, yes, but what if they come earlier? Or if it takes a while, I don't want to wait for them to come and then shovel. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. But you know they usually come later and we have things to do. This is at 8.40. So at 9.30, I get my break. 9.30. I go up. I peel my banana. Before I could take my first bite, hey, that's deliveries here. Guess who? Wait, guess they're what supposed to come at shoveled? 11, right? 11. What time is it? Right. It's 9.30. Come. Oh. So I'm I have to go no. out. I'm going to guess that it was the snow that you were going to shovel that wasn't. It, uh, correct. I, so I go and sh- shovel. First guess. I'm shoveling because I can't, because I, I'm going to get stuck. And I have other people helping me shovel. And so I pull the truck out there, but I, it, I'm going slow. You know, I'm shoveling mm-hmm. a lot so that I don't get stuck because I already got stuck early in the morning. And the and delivery this is break time? And the, yes, and the delivery driver oh, goes good. into the go, goes in so and then comes out and says, "You have to waste the company's time." Oh man, I'm really trying to get back on the road. Can you just get it? <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, I just don't want to get stuck." Yeah, yeah, I know, but I need to get back on the road. <clears throat> So Why are you saying, wasting his time? Tim? Right. So if I get stuck, say I get stuck getting the stuff Tim, out of his truck, it would be faster. Do you think? Do you think he'll get home? He'll get out of there faster or slower? This is a trick question. You at? Uh, if you get I mean, stuck, if he gets, I if say, I get stuck with my the material well, what still in there. What if you both get stuck? That means we'll probably be quick. It's right? a double yeah. negative. Yeah. So then he, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then it's a positive. All right. Yeah. But he wanted to get back on the road. So I was yeah, saying, so he's back on the road. So it actually was fine. I was fine, but I was upset. I was annoyed. Very upset. I was upset. I was annoyed. At about so an I, eight at this point? Uh, I would say, I would, right? yeah, it's no, 9 30. about an eight. I was about, level at, eight. I was about at a seven and a half. Seven, eight. okay. Yeah. I got you. Um, so then I go back in, I take my break, and I'm like, all right. Finish the peeling worst the banana. Parts are, finish peeling the banana, eat yeah. it, have some of my coffee. And then I go downstairs and I touch my tool off, which in the CNC, I run the CNC. So you touch a tool <laughs> off, it says where the height of the board that, you're, that you have on your CNC is. And then the material will be on top of that board. So it knows where the board is, right? Right. Standard so procedure. There's a negative number in the touch off, though. Oh, crap. A negative point nine. I hate negative numbers. I, you're gonna hate them even more oh after this gosh. story. Well, guess so what? That this, means, this. So that means it's going in almost an inch further than it's supposed to. Just when you think it's not. Just when you think it's not. And I go, okay, it's touched off. I'm good. Boom, run it. It almost started a fire. Boom. It I almost it. Like this. It was embering. I had to pour water on it, and it broke the bit. And meanwhile. Joe Schmoe's back on the road. Correct. Correct. Oh, um, and your boss did it. T- he took break? Yeah, and it's yeah. only around 10 at this yeah. point. Well, at least he got his break. True. It's only around 10 at this point. Yeah. That's 10 in the morning. Oh, so then no. I have to fix that. And I, I would have been done my coffee. At least you have like five right. hours I would have been done my like coffee at this point. To have a good day. Right. Yeah, exactly. five hours left to fix So you then I have thousands I think I of used things to stack 10. and move and get going because there's seven deliveries that happen so i'm sitting there with tons of stuff i have stuff to cut that wants to be done before the end of the day so i have a crap ton with nobody to help me 
So I say, okay, I said to my boss, I'm just going to do this, right? I'm just going to do this while I'm doing it. And it's annoying. It's a ton of moving stuff. And it's a really annoying time. It's one of the worst things I have to do is organize the material because it was screwed up for so long. Because my forklift was broken. And then we got a new forklift and that forklift got stuck. Right? So, right, that, yeah. so it's a bunch of frustration of today. So then I go home for lunch. Oh, I go because home for lunch because I'm close to work. Well, so, yeah, that's I surprised live close when you to said work. that, and I was like, oh, yeah, you live I'm close, close to work. work. So I go home for lunch, and I think, I'm going to make an egg. Oh, bad decision. I you wouldn't say in. crack. Wait, wait, wait. Do eggs crack easily? Not if uh, they're... Not if they're handled with care, but yeah. I guess I didn't handle it with care because I reach into the what, carton what, to grab an egg. Uh, not in the carton. No, not it's in the carton. It's in the carton. Oh. I <laughs> grab the carton, and it goes... In the carton, you like, just trash the whole oh carton my. at that point. The carton is gone. <laughs> so I have to clean the carton, and then I make my eggs. I eat, and then we have a gallon of tea in the fridge. So I go to pull that out, oh, okay. and there's a bowl of hard-boiled eggs. More eggs. What is up with the in the corner? You need eggs. to settle down with these eggs. With the Jack. eggs, right? Oh Agreed. my gosh! In the corner, there's a bowl of hard-boiled eggs, and I pull the tea out. And it knocks the bowl of hard boiled Oh, eggs that's onto good. The floor. <laughs> I, guess, and he goes, <laughs> I did you, to go like, find. I don't. I didn't even do this stuff. Yeah. I didn't do it in my like. I, I would say my day wasn't like excellent, but it was definitely better than that. Yeah. yeah. And it, we're only at lunchtime. I know. Uh, it was I, lunchtime. I used the bathroom around ten, I think, yeah. and then I, that's pretty I normal lunch. You, was it not? I texted Will. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, something's that, going I on. Texted, <laughs> I texted you, Will. I texted you. After the delivery of the morning. Oh, <laughs> after so the whole egg Lerda, thing didn't happen. <laughs> the whole egg thing didn't happen, and the whole uh, uh, delivery driver thing didn't happen. So, okay, that I'm sorry that that happened to you. Was the rest of your day good? Wait, didn't you say something after that? <laughs> well, there's got to be one? an ending to this story. I'm, I'm just sure wondering if it's a happy ending or not. Lunch. I yeah. thought there was another bad thing. Uh, because then we got into an argument whether they went on yeah. vacation. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was just, it was, I said because we're going on vacation, so it all had to happen today. Can you give? Oh, I, uh, the, oh, the, the no, other thing I, was I worked late Monday. Right. Yesterday. I worked till about 5.30. Should have cleared the snow then. To get, yeah. right, exactly. To yeah. get this job done for the other person comment and they come and they say can we just take the rest tomorrow so they're coming back tomorrow for me to load the rest uh, up typical typical uh, I, typical I, I, typical I, I, like The terrible difficulties. Moderator over Jeff, you that, need that, that's a valid question. That's a good I feel like if you know your, d- if you knew Sunday night going into Monday that it was going to be I a agree. sucky day on Monday, I personally I would have just like, spread it out. Yeah, also, yeah. if if I'm going to go home and crack an egg and spill eggs all over the floor, I'm do it not, over the sink at yeah, least. And I'm not, or just not <laughs> even that's, have eggs. That really that's doesn't a even very good else. point. That's Listen, a very can, good point. But the moral of the story is right. You Don't. S- Ever work. <laughs> and, and if it snows, yep. then slight change of topic. But change the ground. I know it's like a fireside episode. Yeah. Right. Might I say a fresh cut episode? Yeah. Every single it one of us has a new uh-huh. I'm, I'm happy. Let's go. I am too. And we got new hoodies. Oh, oh no. Yes. Look at this. Look this at this is day. the best day of my whole it's entire life. It's a better life. day now because I'm here. And, and you it know was what? better because I went on a run and trained for my marathon today. How, listen. And Jake and I both I hit hear our, um, a say record or whatever you gym people call for our bench press oh um, yeah these guys go. started working out How, how's it you going? know what's great is this is supposed great. to be a super bowl episode we haven't even talked listen about super bowl. everyone we'll knows what happened it. with the super bowl I we know. talked about it beforehand it's, it's not yeah. been going great for me <laughs> yeah. yeah so this guy is the one that wants okay so i'm <laughs> thankfully i had i've had those weights for a while that was what i did before i went to the gym and this Fella. This kid this says, don't even "Hey, I, I, that'd be like cool if we could use the weights if you don't use them anymore." And I hear that he's not using them, and the ones that didn't even say anything are using them every it's day because because he does homework for like ten hours a night. <laughs> and that's on not purpose. exaggeration. On purpose. No, I don't. <laughs> yes. If I, if, I could, if I could get myself he's to get spreading done my out homework his difficulties. Right away, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, well, Jim, he, I said you're spreading out your yeah. difficulties. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you watched the last episode, <laughs> actually, oh my gosh, this listen. works perfectly because yes. we ended the last episode screaming, so and then we started this one with "Hello." I, I rewatched it for pure entertainment, and I wanted to kill myself because I was still so I know, mad. I know. Listen, listen. If you have not watched our last pod, like I, I would almost say, like pause this, 
Go, go watch. Watch, watch the last 20, 20 minutes. minutes. It is 20 minutes. It is. It's very intense, and you're um, going to want to see it. We're still um, friends. We're still good friends. Listen. Hey, you, listen. Friends can do that. I was yeah. just going to say, of all the people that could argue like that, yeah. it would probably be You want to know yeah. something funny? Yeah. Yes, do it. You want to know something funny? Now. Saturday night, me and Will had it again. <laughs> we had the <laughs> same no. argument with but our friends. But slightly different. Slightly and we different. came to an agreement. We did. We what was the agreement? The agreement was, we the disagreed. <laughs> no. <laughs> the actual agreement was yes, but yeah. the actual agreement was this year Purdy more impressive because of what he did. Dak Prescott a more skilled quarterback, Correct. and that was what we landed on. Yep. Yes, but so, I'm done with that. Right after the Super Bowl, to add on to that, I said on our group chat. I love uh, how he said. I love how he says right after and uh, not like during as well. Right, so <laughs> we, we could, of course, yeah. <laughs> Jim's rooting, Jim's rooting for the 49ers. Yeah, Jeff, and Jeff goes, Jeff. only if the 49ers had Dak Prescott, they would have won yeah. the Super Bowl. Listen, we are sports-centered. So yes. I will say that it, the game, the the fourth quarter of the game, excellent. Very good. Yeah. The rest of the game? Just, oh, my gosh. Pure first quarter was first literally. Hit. Listen, that it rivaled. Old. It rivaled the Rams Patriots. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it did. For sure. It rivaled. Obviously, it ended no, up much better. I would listen, say, I I would say this. Rivaled. Yeah. A lot of, say, football people were like, that was a great Super Bowl. Defense played. Defensively, yeah. For entertainment. Yeah. That game, even if it, even if it ended in the fourth quarter, which... Like it was still the only reason it was a good Super Bowl because it went to overtime. Can I say this? Yeah, you can. This is why, when we complain about roughing the passer calls, the NFL goes, "We don't care because they they like we don't like when the defense <laughs> play is good." And they're like, it, they hate it, so we're just gonna make the defense really hard. <laughs> it was like honestly, it there was. was points where we were just like, "This is." This is the worst Super Bowl. What would have made it better? What would have made it better was an entertaining halftime show. <laughs> but apparently, but listen, we were definitely in the minority. I a lot of people said they it did. Was like, okay, before we like, I did hear they said they liked it. Which before me, we like scream, I, don't care. I do not yeah. want them. I about I'd be more either. curious of like, like were like were we were we in the minority? Because most of what know. I heard was that Usher killed it. In my personal humble, very humble opinion. I would just like to say it wasn't for me. I didn't oh. love it. That's all. I, it's not I'm, that big I of a deal. I come from the point where I heard the same thing. I heard a lot of Usher was really good. I like halftime show to me is so like if I miss it, I do not give it. Yeah, to I feel like so yeah. many people are I'm, like the Super Bowl. Single, the game is what matters to I, me. Not yeah, the I feel like show. every single year people are complaining that it's bad. So why go into the next year expecting something huge? That well, is going to be so bad again. Though, though, to be fair, though, but last year's was good, and the year before's Dude. was good, and the year before. The so weekend, there were three in a row. The weekend killed it. Dr. Dre and when Eminem, he had, Snoop Dogg, and all that was really on. good. And Rihanna's last year was good. Yeah, Rihanna was if good. If you like Rihanna, she was good. But that's a, that's a valid point, though. But it's it's both valid yeah. because, like, you at one point you I, have reason to think that's going to be yeah, really good. I used to think the same thing, but now like I've come to like really appreciate every aspect of the game. Yeah. Like I, I appreciate the commercials. I appreciate you know when no, it's the commercials, commercials were good. No yeah. commercials, really? They were they were they were I good. They, they, were, they were, were poor funny. compared to le- several years before. Um, so several years recently, commercials recently. So have commercials. Several years, as in like five. As in, like, because I agree. Six, Super Bowl? seven years, like, Super Bowl commercials were, like, what people wanted to see, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, last year was bad. They trailed last off Last year was terrible. The year yeah. before was terrible. This I feel year like was better than last year, in I terms like of commercials. Since 20, I feel like since 2018, they've been really bad. Yeah. The well, Bud Knight just was all right. Off. Like, that was a cool, yeah. a funny thing. Yeah, that the was dilly fun. The dilly dilly. I feel like it really, like, Puppy Monkey Baby and all those, like, they were so long ago. It's like... That's that true. was the last good ones. I didn't, like, watching the game, I honestly didn't see a commercial that I thought, oh, that's a commercial. Really? I mean, yeah. I saw uh, There were a few I, that... I feel like I thought... I thought I thought the commercial... Maybe maybe it was, was like, also, the game was so bad yeah, the, I'm, like, looking the for anything. One, the Duncan one started but, weird, but it, it, it got me there at was, the end. There I was also a couple commercials that you see... On everyday shows that yeah. showed on the Super Bowl. And yeah. I'm just like, why would you put that? That's the yeah, thing. That's like a lot of them are informational Double-digit million dollars. Yeah, like, those you know what the last great one was? Was the Tide ads. 
Remember oh, when they were good? Like, oh, it, this is a tie. Turns out it's like, a tie. They were the last one. They used to have really good ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, they had a movie. Some solid oh, Snickers man, that ones. Was, that was showing it was coming out Thanksgiving. Like, I know. I was like, holy cow. It was like, a different God. time. Which one? It's it was, called Wicked, I yeah. think. Oh, yeah. I think it was a Disney movie. Yeah. I don't know. Personally, the game was terrible until the fourth quarter. And then it's like, it's almost like... Really? But like Dude, I get it. I get it. It happens. But I just gotta I gotta confess. How good it ended up being technically mm-hmm. was kind of annoying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it was like I I, I was rooting time. so hard against the Niners that I began rooting for the Chiefs. Like uh, legitimately same. rooting for the Chiefs. Preface, we're Eagles fans. Yes. yes. <laughs> so, Preface. Um once it like once it got to the fourth quarter and Mahomes had a minute fifty three, I was just like there's just no doubt that he's going to go down and score. Yeah. Then it comes to overtime. I literally texted on Not a group. single doubt that he's going to go down and win uh-huh. the game. Uh-huh. And it's like, yes, I'm rooting for him so hard at that point. Now that the game is over, I've just gone to just appreciate, like, how, like, great he is. And now I'm not going to... Respect it. I'm is, not going to go a, a word into that saying use. that, like, he's already on Tom Brady's level, but he's the, trajectory, next the trajectory that he is on is... It's just crazy. Uh, uh, the, the thing with Patrick Mahomes versus Tom Brady is Patrick Mahomes is like more talented. Yeah. For right? well, and you're like, that's what wow. I was telling sure. you. It's like but, if Rodgers won a bunch of Super Bowls, yeah, that's kind of what we're seeing. Exactly. But for Brady, Brady being the GOAT, like I think Mahomes, like it's kind of like LeBron versus Jordan. Yeah, you know what is. I mean? Like it's, nobody's going to argue against Tom Brady. Right now, Until, I know. Right now, I know. Mahomes has but a better at, record in the Super Bowl. But well, right, right no. now, at Tom Brady's career he had point, three at Super this Bowls point in Tom Brady's career, and Mahomes is right now. Mahomes is on a better trajectory than Tom Brady. That's was. what. So Mahomes has no. won more than he lost. He is no. Tom he Brady won three, three at twenty-seven, and, and Mahomes has won three at twenty-eight. So how many did Brady win? Six, seven, seven, seven. Oh. and lost three, and lost three, and the, one of the Eagles and the Giants one. Mahomes won three and lost one. But the thing is, is Brady beat Mahomes twice head to head. That's the thing. And Mahomes uh, admitted it, which is good. He's I never like going to get that back. That. But um, the thing is that w- that like I appreciate too is, yes, he had Travis Kelsey, yeah. but he just won the Super Bowl with, say, Marquez Valdez Scantling as his number one, and then a uh, Raji Rice coming up. Yeah. I Where was... like the thing with Brady, which was always amazing, was he could take any receiver. At a low budget and go in the Super Bowl. And go in the Super Bowl, yeah. Which he had Gronk at the same time, too. I would say it's almost like for me, it's like Brady, like from what I saw, like I didn't watch the very beginning of his career because I was born in Which is crazy. Neither did I. (laughs) (laughs) He's a goat, but like to me, he was just good just because. Like, he wasn't, like, super skilled. Oh, the, the, the thing with Tom Brady was, was, the we the thing with Tom Brady was though, just all says, game, you would say, oh, Patrick Mahomes is going to do this. But Tom Brady is the exact same thing you said about Mahomes. If you give him the ball back yeah. with any you amount of time way, left, yeah. he will win the game. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's He'll the thing. win the game. Mahomes did it with 13 the seconds. What you give him a minute and 53? What do you think? He's it was gonna 13 minute? seconds. Like, honestly, it's just like there's no and on it. And also at that point, the Chiefs were have been like dominating. Yeah. Well, I want to get. The I want to give you guys quarter. thoughts the, on the overtime. But you the 13 seconds. Oh, yeah, I have thoughts that on was that. that was Mahomes Tyreek Hill. If Mahomes, if they kept Tyreek Hill, like. That was such an unstoppable duo. Yeah. The I d- thing is, is like I know you can say he had Tyree kill. I know. Thirteen seconds. I know. I know. But and he but think had about to go it. from his own what fifteen yard line. I know. Like, but he, think about that crosser. Like, that is, that crosser at mid. That was like b- b- right, right behind midfield. Yeah. That Tyree kill scored on. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like, know. like that's why I say Tyree Kill and Mahomes because those two were lethal. Oh, yeah. Because Mahomes With the could side p- of Travis Kelsey. Like, uh, Mahomes can. could put this. it anywhere, and Tyree could go anywhere. And you know what I mean? Like, Mahomes could throw it eighty-seven thousand miles. <laughs> and Tyree Kill could, like, could, could run, could run yeah. under it. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, yo, like the whole thing with Mahomes in like, um, I'm tired of him and I root him. Like I'm. <laughs> I'm like oh, I'm coming to the realize like realization that in every sport, it's it's like is it more enjoyable to not hate on a single player or to have players that you root against? What would you guys say? Well, I just want to bring up a comparison. So Steph Curry went on his run, and then all he started winning a couple, and then it's like 
everyone hates Steph Curry. Uh-huh. Now it's come back, and he's still dominating, and everyone loves to watch him. Right. I feel like it might come back to where, like, everyone finally realizes just how great Patrick Mahomes is and wants to watch. Like, Because, like, yeah. honestly, we all hate Mah- Everyone keeps saying they hate Mahomes, which I do not hate Mahomes at all. Would you rather Mahomes just get put out of the league? Like, See, does that, so my thing does that is, do anything for do you, you? Is it because because I'm I I'm I'm not too prideful to say that I hate it on Curry. I hate it on Mahomes, but I've I've have come around and realized that like like I I don't know though because that's kind of part of sports. sports. Yeah, but it, my no, whole is, thing is, do you think that that happens because fans are like, okay, this is just like a fling, and then like say Curry. Who's still dominant? I mean, whatever this year, whatever. We're not talking about just this one yeah. year. Like, still dominant, still just like unreal. Do you think fans are just like waiting for them? But at the same time, you could use the argument about Brady, and I've like people were waiting for Brady to fail. But I guess you're an Eagles fan. It's like, oh well, cheated against you in the Super Bowl, and it's like, how do you like? It's the same. It's like something to root against, but yeah. I just wanted to know like what you guys thought about it's that. It's the same with the Cowboys and being like they haven't won a uh, championship in 28 years. It's like the teams in the 90s and the 80s were dominant. Yeah, Cowboys. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they rolled, but like I because you don't like them, you're like. Yeah, they're the worst franchise. You know what I mean? Like, they're yeah. a crap franchise or this or that. You know what I mean? Like, I think rivalries are in a league of their own. Like, I think that that's, like, good for sports. Yeah. But I just yeah. mean, like, that random player. Like, for example, like, why, as an Eagles fan, would we hate on Mahomes? Because you know he what beat I mean? us last year. Okay, but it was before that, too. I feel like, yeah, I was going to say, a lot of people, like, even the Because, before, I, because, because remember like, when they I were beginning. playing the Bills? I, I, I wasn't a Because, like, when they were playing the Bills, everyone was saying that they, they're so tired of Mahomes doing this. And they're like, hey, all these, like they hate the all these walks, and it's like, yeah, because it's good. Like It's the same as, say, uh, Tom Brady. Jeff, check um, that audio. Uh, McDavid, uh, Crosby, uh, LeBron. You know what it is? It's the favoritism within. It's it's the giant the amount of people. Hope that they get. The amount of people that go this Juan Soto. I don't dislike Juan Soto. I think my biggest reason I dislike Juan Soto is because every time people bring up Juan Soto, yeah. is, Juan Soto's the greatest. Player. You know he's only twenty-five. That's so true. Do you know? And That's it's so like, true. Bro, like the, the, the come crazy on. thing he's that not, you bring up that you know, is like, I can't tell you the reason why, but like, I cannot stand LeBron. Right. Because, but, yet, but yet, I appreciate and love watching Patrick Mahomes, and I don't understand uh, why. Because, you because see I can say him LeBron's in this actions role, drive me nuts. Right, but like, and I, I could, say the same thing about Mahomes. Yeah. Mahomes just annoys yeah, me. I, I, it's, it's almost like the, the way you carry. I do not like yeah. LeBron, and I do not like Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. It's, it's like the, the way, way you carry, carry yourself. Yourself. I, think, yeah. I think mainly for me is whenever a sports player beats like the Eagles, Phillies, Flyers, Sixers in a big time moment, yeah. I instantly do not Patrick like him. Patrick Kane, I'll ne- I can appreciate that I Patrick agree Kane with you. was a great player, but he scored the game. He broke I, listen, my heart. Here's what I'll say. Like, I would agree with you, but hockey is so different to where hockey is such a team sport that, like, any player could have done that to where it's like— I know, like, but it's the Patrick Eagles, Kane. I, okay, but I'm just saying, like, it wasn't like he, like, say, killed us in that series, I guess, and, like, whatever, yeah. but, but if— I understand what you're saying, because I agree yeah. in other sports. Right. Like basketball, it's definitely true. Oh, and football, sure. if it's the quarterback or, say, a big-time player, right. it, it absolutely is yeah. true, okay, because so, they have such an effect on the game and your team. So, based, I normally, I would agree 100%, but last year, and I don't, I don't understand, I still, like, I can't give you the reason why, but, like, other than, Mahomes doesn't tick me off from beating the Eagles last year as much as say Jason Tatum does, which he's on the Celtics, but like, or anyone wa- would that beat the, a f- team from Philadelphia? Yeah. Because I feel like it was more that we lost because the referee called a stupid flag yeah. that made no sense. Compared to say, if Mahomes did that game-winning drive against us, like he just did against the 49ers, it would be it would hurt so much more from being like just strictly against Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. To where when I where I look back at that Chiefs Super Bowl, all I think about is the ref screwing us, not right. Patrick Mahomes beating us. Right. Well, it's it's, yeah. it's well, I would say with hockey is the same as say in, in in the World Series. Like or in baseball this year. I'm for sure going to dislike uh Ronald Acuña way more than I dislike uh Orlando Arcia. 
because he has more of an effect. Because he has game. more of an effect. That's why. Baseball, like, the I pick, think is lumped into that's that as why, well. Why, why, why Patrick Kane is. Yeah, he did kill us in that series. But who's the number one guy on the Blackhawks? Patrick Kane. Who's the guy who scored yeah, against but you us? You know what's funny Patrick though. Kane. You know what's funny though is that. Did you hate Taze? Yes. I didn't. I really? I hated Taves. I, I, I My understand. brother got ta- a Taze jersey, <laughs> and I was like, are you serious? Really? Like, w- why would you do that? That's terrible. That's so funny. That, to me, because... is like getting a Crosby jersey. <sighs> really? Because, listen, Taves... Because Taves outside Kane, of that Stanley Cup, they had Taves, no effect on the Flyers. Taves and Kane had the exact same thing as, say, Mahomes or Brady... Because they were so do- the Blackhawks were so dominant, it was like, oh, I'm the annoyed at them. But in their first uh, Stanley Cup, they beat us, so I already disliked them. So by the time that I was like, got to Mahomes level, I already disliked them so much. For me, it yeah. was like with hockey, it was like <clears throat> unless they were on the Penguins, Bruins, Rangers, or Devils, I didn't really dislike any players. I mean, obviously, there's I, yeah. like the randos in there that are only yeah. out there to kill people. Right, yeah. but yeah. like. Uh, honestly, outside of those kind of players and outside of our direct rivals, I didn't really have a ton of hockey players that I was like, "Oh, I can't stand." Him. I know, but because there, I there, guess it was just like there aren't that many. There aren't that many uh, besides Mahomes. There aren't that many like basketball or you know yeah. what I mean, like baseball, I, baseball players I that is... I dislike that are really just my rivals. I dislike Soto because he was in the Nationals for years. I dislike. Mach- yeah, that's Machado fair. because you that's know fair. Me, Machado like, is Machado. Yeah. Yeah. You're essentially saying the same thing, right? And, yeah. and I just like, um, what's his name? Like, it's like Aaron Judge. Well, also I, Machado, I, you hate because when he, it was with him between him and Harper, him and Harper, and he didn't want to come agency. here. Yeah, and not even the fact that like he didn't want. It's just the fact that like we got Bryce Harper and he right. was fighting against Machado yeah. for contracts. Yep. So it's like you have to, you have to hate him exactly. And like, I would say that, like. Mahomes, as I was watching the Super Bowl, I was like, I picked the Niners. But, man, I really don't like the Niners. Yeah. I don't like Kyle Shanahan. <clears throat> I think he's so overrated. Oh, yeah. he's Shanahan. Shanahan's a choker. He's another another he's a, blown lead in the Super Bowl. He's another a blown choker. lead in the Super Bowl. All right, I, as the offensive player, everyone I'm gonna, puts him above like Andy Reid. They put him above gonna, all these people, and it's like, he's a good. genius. Well, he hasn't won a Super Bowl, and he's been in three. Um, I don't like Debo at all. Did you see what Fleischer Cox said? Yes. <laughs> what did he, he say? He went off that's, on Debo. That, uh, listen, as an Eagles fan, that like that, that's that's exactly what I mean, I guess. Yes. But, Jim, so I gotta, I just got to, in a respectful manner, I want your honest opinion now, and it could be whatever you feel. Okay. One Purdy. Brock Purdy? Yeah. Like, Can I give mine next? Sure. Kay. And, like, this would be, like, a respectful um, conversation because like i still kind of feel the same way like in my opinion he's exactly maybe slightly lower than my expectations of him going in i will say this because he wasn't atrociously he lost, bad he lost to that defense which is an excellent defense and to patrick mahomes while not throwing an interception and he didn't play well but i would say neither did mahomes yeah. And McCaffrey fumbling really isn't his fault. Kyle Shanahan go not giving the ball to Mahomes and taking the second possession in overtime, that's not his fault. Okay. Them I, going I, for I, for two of them going for it and not kicking the field goal, that's not his fault. You know what I mean? Like uh, Jake Moody missing that extra point. So, yeah, it's like I, I he if he would have won, it would have been so much more and if he would have gotten destroyed with like an interception and you know what I mean? And looked terrible. I just don't think he looked horrible. I think the defenses were so really question, good and Mahomes beat him. What do you think about Mahomes' performance? Uh, Mahomes did exactly what Mahomes does. Mahomes does what he needs to do and wins the game. Personally, uh, like you said, you, you didn't think Mahomes played well Particularly either. Well, but be- I, th- I would say, like, to end the way you ended, I would say he played really well because it's almost like he literally, like, knew they weren't doing anything and then just... Did something. It's yeah. the Tom Brady effect. You can play like, bass for three. I was, not great I was for three quarters. Just like, like I didn't even. I I literally was not rooting for either team. Yeah. And was just so confident. I texted on our group chat and said, "Here comes a game-winning drive." Yeah. Like, cause you, like you said, you just there was no chance in the world yeah. they were not going to come down and score and win. Right. Like, yeah. there's so, no chance. I mean, Grant, overtime. Whatever. I still. 
am not high on Brock Purdy. He did impress me though. Which you guys saying he really? Did, yes. Yeah. Compared to what I expected, he did impress me. What <laughs> specifically can I ask? Just unless it's not like, like he he's a lot more mobile than you would expect. Right. He can evade pressure a lot better, and. Now I don't. According to Romo, now, he no one does it better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, come on, Romo. Now, yes. Speaking of Romo, he's like, yeah, he has a way bigger arm than people would say too. I do not buy that. I still think he has a little bit of a weaker arm. Yeah. Now, my still overall thing on Purdy is that I truly believe that he is, as they call, a system quarterback. I don't think he's much above that. But we always say like say media around someone can kind of take you off Mm -hmm. my thing that would have bothered me is we all know that he didn't play great right he was good he didn't play bad that's exactly how they won the super bowl oh yeah brock purdy top five starting quarterback and everything now like they do that for everyone right which so it's like whatever but like i know that would have been coming speaking (laughs) of the overtime though everyone keeps saying that kyle shanahan made a mistake right I think that he made the right decision because if the Niners get on and score a touchdown, Chiefs have all the pressure. Say the Chiefs score a score. touchdown, okay? Yeah. yeah. They get the third possession. All they have to do is kick a field goal to win it. Correct. Because the, the next score wins. Plus, if you give Mahomes the ball first, you already know Mahomes is going down and I scoring. I completely agree. And your offense hasn't done anything, so that's added pressure onto a Brock Purdy who – Again, you can't really say put it on him anymore for being the last pick, but it's the last pick in the draft in the Super Bowl. He's it's probably feeling Super the Bowl, pressure. But and, like, you're going to put that added pressure on him when his offense already isn't doing well. But with the way the rules are in overtime, if you give them the ball first, they have the wary of, oh, it's third down, and you know what I mean, and this amount of time. Whereas if you give, if you take the ball second, like the Chiefs, they didn't even care. They didn't even care. Like, the time was just going to run. Like, they didn't care. They they, they had a four-down play. You know what I mean? Because it doesn't matter. All the pressure, mean, I feel like. Like, the time I feel doesn't like, matter? I feel like them going second almost took the pressure off because they're like, we don't have a time crunch. Know, really? Like, we don't, yeah. But at the time, at the same time, I feel like when the Niners brought the third down, to get this done. when the Niners had it on fourth down, sorry. Yeah. I, feel I, like I don't understand why you're not just going for it. I know. You kicking a field goal takes – all the pressure off the Chiefs. Especially uh, yeah. when Mahomes I think, has been I think rolling. that was the only also mistake because the he Chiefs made in... have the kicker who can kick Listen, it from 70 I, yards. Yeah. So yeah. all that Mahomes has to do is get the midfield. I don't think there's no no uh He should have he should have given them the ball because, first. I, I because think the time the right doesn't decision. matter in every time. You both get exactly. two possessions no Exa- matter what. Exactly. So he should have given them the ball. Even if the time See what they have done. Okay, because I was so confused. I'm like, what why are you not calling a timeout? Yeah, so the time it would have just started another So period. why even have the clock? That's, that's what, what the saying, saying, but I think it's so just that's so why, that's yeah. why looks okay. professional That's why I don't think there was a mistake in choosing which wh- whether you want to go yeah, first or second. Take I think the, the only the mistake first was anyway. kicking a field goal instead of going for a touchdown. Yeah, but against well, Mahomes. That's the, that is yeah. a big mistake. Yeah, yeah, but you know what's funny? But I still think that the best But you know what's funny is that they do that and then don't get it and then that's the mistake. Yeah. Yeah, but like you know that don't get the touchdown. But okay, but, but here's the thing: it's like Tom Brady. You gotta kill him. You gotta yeah, put. Exactly. If you shoot him in the chest, you go up and you shoot him three times in the head. You don't let them get the. If you yeah. only kick, you do not. If you do, you you're gotta giving beat up. them. You can't make them lose. The Bills. I co- the I Bills did. went down and scored a touchdown and left 13 seconds on the clock. Oh Exactly. And you had, went down yeah, and I scored, agree. tied the I game, agree. and went to overtime and won the game. Also, you do not fair. Li- give them After fair. the game, the Niners players don't know the rules. I know. Are you serious? Like, I you're know. in the Super Bowl, and you don't know the rules. Well, you that's deserve the thing, to yeah. lose. But, but my question is, said, how did it even said, affect things? Did it? Wait, wh- it well, does. They, they what are you worried saying? about? Like, because they didn't know how many possessions each and time. And because stuff like does that, that even matter? Yes. Like, because look, it, I wanted a, to know how that affected but the Chiefs, things. Uh, and then on the flip side, Chiefs knew exactly what they were okay. doing. Like, um, what's it called? Chiefs sure. said if they get the ball second, they score a touchdown. They're going for two, no matter what. Right. Exactly. So the Chiefs are going in. They're go- absolutely prepared to the max that, that you can is, be. That is my to point. To where the Niners is just coming in and w- they're they're flipping the coin and then they'll decide what they're going to do. Almost. Yeah, where true. would you rather be as a Patriots fan with Tom Brady 
or a Mahomes or a uh, Chiefs fan with Mahomes? Where would you rather be? W- starting first and being like, okay, we just can score and hope we stop them. Or are you going, I really hope it, the ball just gets into Mahomes' hands or Brady's hands and he goes wins us the game. Which would you rather? Wait, what is? What I would think, you rather? I think you would, would you rather, rather go depend on your defense to stop them second? As a as a Chiefs as fan, as a Chiefs fan, would you rather get out there and say, "Okay, let's go score a touchdown," and then let's hope our defense stops them, or would you rather say, "Let's see what they do first, put the ball in my quarterback's hands"? The we're only this thing game. is the point that he made earlier that if you do go one for one, then their next possession. So then technically you are relying on your defense. Okay, Again, but, okay, okay. Listen, situation. Exactly. Okay. I, I think uh, the so more I'll, time I'll Mahomes back is the next way because I, that makes total sense of why the Niners the field, should pick the second. It's a good time. But say you're a Niners fan, you're going into OT. Are you are you feeling more confident that because obviously you know Mahomes is going to go score a touchdown. Right. Do you want him to go score a touchdown? I and want. You yes. got to go. You have all that pressure to go score, or. Take the chance of going, scoring a touchdown, and put as much pressure on him as you possibly can. Anyone and else? Depend on if it's stuff. Lamar Jackson, Justin Herbert, Jalen Hurts, anyone else in the league? Absolutely. Can you but clarify what you're like? I'm just like I'm saying. I Patrick think I'm Mahomes. <laughs> Patrick <laughs> Mahomes. Say if you're going, if you're going to go against. I'm a Chiefs Patrick, fan. You're a Chiefs fan. Okay. You're going against. Uh, your Patrick. Uh, your quarterback is Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. Would you rather be like, okay, we can either win the game with a defensive stop? Or put the ball in my quarterback's hands and let him go do something. Whether it's get a touchdown or well, have what to does go that for mean? two. So if I choose put the ball in my quarterback's so hand, what does that mean? That we means, take the ball that first. Means you take we, the ball. Th- take the ball second. Second. Because that's what the Niners did. They said we want the ball first and we want our defense to stop Mahomes to end the game. Yeah. Instead I, of yeah, I'm you're taking, taking that one. I'm taking I'm taking the one where <laughs> I'm like, taking the one where the ball is out of Mahomes' hands to win the game. If Mahomes go down and score a touchdown first, okay. I know what I have to do. As I have to go down fan, against their defense. I'm like, oh, you're you're I'm talking as a Niners confused. fan to him. At, yes. So listen, so you're so you're a Chiefs fan, right? Okay. Do you want Patrick Mahomes to uh, know? Uh, yeah. Do you okay. want Patrick Mahomes to have the second possession? So it's all on Patrick Mahomes, the game. Yes. Or do you want yes. him to have the first possession and rely on your defense? Um, In that game, uh, the Niners haven't done anything. So I would pick that. But if it's like we're starting from scratch... I'm ticking the one that Mahomes can win it. Right, exactly. But that's what in I'm saying. That that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but in that game, the Niners have done nothing. I know, but so you're I'm still taking going listen, up against listen, Mahomes. Listen, I just want to say that's this. That's my issue. Because you're going, so you want the ball second because you know Mahomes is going to score, right? Yes. Either so way. So you know Mahomes is going to score either way. Yes. Wouldn't you rather go down and score, try and score your own touchdown with the least amount of pressure that you can have? Because I think, you know he's going to score. I know. So you take the first possession and go score. As, because and then you I can win. Him score, I, then, so basically you, you're saying would you rather have your offense have more pressure or your defense? We should yeah, just because listen, if offense. you score, right? Jay, I agree both ways. If it I works rather out, offense. Think you can go either listen, way. Listen, if, you, if it works out that you score and then you know he's going to score, you get that third possession and yeah, the like, next doesn't score that make wins. Sense? Because then you guarantee yourself to have the last chance to I win. I know. I, like I said, against anybody else, Sure. But Mahomes is and and are you Andy talking Reed? as a Niners fan or a Chiefs fan? What do you mean? Like, are you saying, saying from a Niners fan from perspective? From a Niners, Niners fan perspective. Okay. From okay. a Niners fan perspective. I'm saying like, I, if I'm rooting for the Chiefs, yeah, I, I want, want Mahomes I want Mahomes to, to have the final chance to win. It. That's yeah. what I'm saying. And as a Niners Isn't fan, isn't that I, what you were saying too? Yes, as a Niners but fan, as a Niners I want fan, the, I want the opposite. Exactly. Well, well, yes. No. Yes. 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 Okay, well, I'm saying the opposite. Oh, really? Because no, I'm scared of Mahomes. That's, that's what I'm exactly. saying. Yeah. That's what exactly. I'm saying. So you let him score. So, Here's my thing. Because though. if, if you, you if you just let him score first, then you just add pressure to yourself. But I don't yeah, think but, so. Okay, also, so you're saying as a Niners fan, you want to get the ball first. first because that's the least amount of pressure. So if you can go score, that's a plus. Then yeah. you know he's going to score. So it's just tied, and you get the last possession. But here's, oh, that's true. But here's I the thing. I that, too. But here's the thing. Here's my thing with that. If if the Chiefs go down and they score a touchdown, you know, okay, we, we got to score a touchdown. Yes, that's a lot of pressure for sure. We can go for two and win it. Or the Chiefs could have kicked a field goal. And you, ha- you go, okay, we can tie it with a field goal, or we can score a touchdown to win it. 
and I feel like the pressure's way off. In, uh, but I know, but like on if the you bring up the side, we should agree on the flip to side, they say, hey, again. I got the football. Cut it off early. We're going to go down. Maybe because we score. Maybe we get a field goal. But then I'm putting it in the hands of the most dangerous quarterback in the league, maybe ever, tied with Brady as the scariest quarterback to have it, 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 with the ball with time running out. I'm going, I'm trusting that my offense is going to get – either tie it or win it. Yeah, to be fair, I think both ways are like Yeah. are legitimate. Both ways are completely legitimate on yeah. like no matter what team you're rooting for. Like you can't really argue either way, yeah. I feel like. But um that that covers the Super Bowl pretty much. Who are we take it next year? <laughs> <laughs> Jake, you're going that. snowboarding on Friday. Yeah, I am uh Camelback for the I don't There's know how long but I got an all day pass, so who you going I'm getting Are you going for like first thing in the morning? Yeah. Nice. I'm getting picked up at 6 a.m. Well, that makes sense. It's, oh. it's a little I love how you act like that's early. sleeping for the next six hours after that. <laughs> Wait, Wait now it's on Friday. I know. Friday. Oh, oh we have guys, off Friday. You're just, you're just, I'm the only one that's going to have to go up and go to work. <laughs> we should wake up sicko. at 6 and text him and then go back to bed. <laughs> yeah, I hope uh, you do. Because that would stick uh. on your part. <laughs> no, I'd be fine. I would actually do it on purpose <laughs> just to feel the joy of getting the go back to bed. <laughs> that's what I that's mean. Disgusting. I would like go to the bathroom and then go back in and be like, oh, uh, I don't have to get up I to work. I would come to Will's house, build get, this fire and jump I in. I would actually <laughs> drive back home, get dressed for work, and then be like, ah, I don't actually have to go. The funny thing is I work from home on Friday. Exactly. Uh yeah, no, but that was good. I mean, the Super Bowl to kind of sum it up. It next was just week, like, whatever. Sorry, no, you're no, good. Go we already it. summed it up. Sorry, next. You week. listen. You had a hard day at work. I, I had like a slightly <laughs> difficult. You, right. you go. Okay. You need this more than I do. I just want to say next week yeah. we're diving into the Flyers. Yes, but pitchers and catchers uh, tomorrow to, today. All right. Didn't they get there today? Uh, I heard they were today. Okay. If the Niners Reporting, took a second, it would have been today. They might have got there next today, week but they still, yeah, Next week like, still, we're going to be talking about the fact that the Phillies, by next week, might have Jordan Montgomery signed. I don't know. Or so Blake basically, Snell. you're, or telling, Blake Snell, or, basically you're listen, telling them to stay or tuned. Or an extension stay for Zach Wheeler. Because baseball season's coming, and we got a lot of fun stuff coming down the tube. The YouTube, Yo, as it were. We should, we're should. we going to do... W- listen, so just to, to clarify, we're going to do these fireside episodes... Uh, every month, yeah. So like once a month, that's that's what you'll get. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll mix it up. Maybe not. So basically, you just have to stay tuned. Or in an exotic location. Should we give them a heads up the for set. what might be coming the like day after this releases? Ooh, uh, well, this might be released tomorrow. And well, then, the day yeah. after yeah. tomorrow. Listen, the day after tomorrow. We did t- tomorrow? our first annual beach games competition. Yeah, we, we did. did that last year. In now September. listen, because we're still new to this YouTube game, yeah. we had we had complications in figure outatives that yes. we had to handle intuitively and progressively, which we did behind the scenes, thusly and forthright. And Will did with yes, yes. and it's going to be coming this week. So listen, keep your eyes peeled. It would mean the absolute world if you guys watched it. Yes, we're very excited for it. Yes, um, we worked hard on it, very yes. hard on it. It was. Our biggest project probably to date. Uh, yeah. yeah. That so we followed through with. It. Stay yeah. tuned to that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And remember to make sure you subscribe if you're not. Also, we're shooting a mic'd up this this year uh, month. Yes. There's a lot. Listen. A and lot. Do, <gasps> beach games being Our done is huge. Hit 14,000 views. Yeah. That's, so thank you. Thank for you. That. And for commenting. That was great. Yeah. yeah. We appreciate y'all. Yeah. And make sure you like comment subscribe hit the bell because then when you you do that it's like when we post you know um wait we should a peaceful one yeah we would just like to say thank Thank you for watching the everman guys and 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 we'll catch you you on the next next one on the next on the next one thanks jake thank you jake thanks yep this is a good fireside episode it was thanks jeff first